Hello Internet! Today I want to show the problems that can arise when you are updating your React dependencies. Because usually when you use React and you are building a website, then you have React as a dependency and React DOM to have the context of the document object model. And when you have this, then you probably also have typings for React and typings for React DOM. And I want to get a little more in detail about that because I want to show you how these typings relate to one another. So if we have a look at types react DOM, then we, by checking the yarn log file, will see that the react DOM typings also have a dependency. So let's look here for add types and then react DOM. And here we see that um, these typings have a dependency on typings from React. And what we see here is that they depend on React typings with a wildcard. So we don't see here a specific version, we see a star, a wildcard. And if this is the case for you, then that can cause some troubles because I know that in later versions, that um, gets fixed to something like this, so that your React DOM typings um, for version 16 also depend on React typings of version 16. But if it's not the case, if there's a wildcard, then problems can uh, show up. And I will show you um, exactly why and also how to solve them. Because you will see how this then resolves, like the React um, DOM typings are happy with any React typings, which means if the React typings get downloaded for the very first time, then they will be resolving to the version that is specified here, the 6953. So let's validate this. If we check here for add types react, then we see that indeed the add types react wild card here resolves to the version of 16953. And why do we have two entries here? Like the first entry here comes from the dependency and the second entry here comes from the very specific listing of uh, types react here in our package JSON file. So we have two add types react dependency, one declared in our package JSON file and one coming as a transitive dependency from add types react DOM. And then like these two resolve to the very same version of 16953 for now. So if we check our typings, I created a little script that is called test types. Then this here executes the TypeScript compiler with no emit. So we won't compile JavaScript output, but we will of course check the types. And if we do that, then things are working fine right now. So let me just execute yarn test types to show you that we will have no errors. Yeah, that might take a while, but we see here no errors, like after four seconds, everything was cool and we can also check why why we have for example a dependency of add types react and we will see that we have add types react dependencies coming from add types react directly and from add types react dom so add type react uh, dom depends on add types react so good so far. So now let's update React 16 to React version 18. If we do that, then we also need to update our typings. So I will use the functionality from yarn, which is called yarn upgrade interactive and then minus minus latest. And by doing this, then yarn will check, okay, what are my outdated dependencies? And it will find that there are typings for React that resolve for version 18. So if you are using React version 18, use add types React version 18, same for React DOM. And then when I say, okay, select here with space, then I can also like update, of course, my main dependencies, React, React DOM. And if I update React DOM and React to version 18, then also the types here will get updated. So all the 40 dependencies will resolve to new versions. We can see that here now, yeah, we have React version 18, React DOM version 18, add types React version 18, and add types React DOM version 18. If we now execute our 
typings test that I have here. So let's do another yarn test types. Then we will run into errors. And this is why I'm making this video because probably you've also encountered these errors. So we will have different types of errors. So the first one we'll see, let me scroll up a bit further. And the rest is uh, really just repetitive. So scrolling up, 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 up. Oh, it's a long list. So let's always start from the beginning. I can't even scroll up that much, but there is usually error TS2717, um, yeah, which tells you that there is a subsequent property declaration. Subsequent means that there is already another declaration and now there is a second declaration for the same thing and that they don't match. So this is error TS2717. You probably might also run into error TS2300, which tells you that there is a duplicate identifier. Duplicate identifier also tells you there is an identifier and there is a second declaration of an identifier. And then these two things are not the same. So how can that happen? This can happen when you have two versions of the same thing, obviously. So what we might have now is that there is a declaration for React typings and there's a second declaration for React typings that has a different signature. Yeah, so let's say you have typings for React version 16 and then the uh, functions and signatures changed in version 18 and then you also have typings for version 18 and now these two clash. And when this happens, then you get error TS2300 and error TS2717. How can we now get um, ahead of this? Like, how can we find out? So let's first of all check why we have typings um, of React here. And then we see that um, we have here transitive dependencies and we have a unique dependency. Yeah, the unique dependency is the direct typing and then the transitive dependency is from at types react dom which uses at types react and here we see something that doesn't really match so we have here our unique dependency our direct dependency on at types react version 18015 this comes from here from a package json and then we have here the transitive one for an at types react dom that wants at types react version 16.9.53. So we indeed have like two different versions here of at types react in our module um, resolutions. So why do we have that? Well, let's check what happened in the yarn log file because it also got updated. Yeah, we see a lot of uh, colorful bars here. And um, let's directly look for at types react dom. And we will find that we have here at types react dom version 18. That's great. But now there comes the wildcard. Yeah? React dom wants us to provide at types react. And it doesn't care about the exact version of at types react. Whatever is here will be taken. So let's check what is there for react um, for at types react. So if we look for at types react then we will see that there is still here the wildcard entry that resolves to 16.9.53 because that didn't got changed. Yeah? If you remember before we upgraded, before we used Yarn Upgrade Interactive, we had a resolution from at types react wildcard to 16.9.53 and that remained, yeah? that didn't get updated. But we also now have the at types react 18.0.15, the direct dependency from our package JSON, that of course resolves to 18.0.15. Yeah, so now we resolve to two different types of React, and then like our node modules, they also like um, can just host one and now gets um, confused. Like actually, types could get confused which types to take. Should it take the types from React 16 or from 18? It doesn't know. And we shouldn't have this here, yeah, because it's actually wrong, we would like to also have our at types react resolving to version 18, even if it is here mentioned with the wildcard. So how can we fix this problem here now? Well, we can 
first of all get back to a clean state. Because remember what a log file does. A log file writes down the specific versions that have been resolved when you first executed yarn or npm. Yeah, the same applies to npm. If you're using npm install, you will also have a log file. And um, in this case, you have then the, the package log um, file. And um, this tells then, okay, which version was resolved back in time when you first executed that command. And as we had here, um, react 16, then add types react wildcard resolved to 16. And um, this we need to now change. How can we change that? We just remove both typings here. We remove the react dom typing and the react typings. So both add types we will remove. Then we will uh, execute yarn because this removes now the resolutions from our log file. Yeah, here, um, the gun. We won't see any add types react here anymore. And now that we have a clean log file, we can again execute yarn, but this time we will bring back here what we just removed. So we will bring back add types react as a dev dependency and add types react dom as a dev dependency. And if we then execute yarn, then the add types react wildcard will resolve to an 18015 because that was the very first time when it um, was requested and will also be mentioned then here in the log file. So, and as you see now, it happened what I just explained. Add types react wildcard, which comes um, as a transitive dependency here from add types react dom, resolves now to the 18015, just like our main dependency on types react 18015, that also resolves to the same version. Now the versions are in sync. And if we now execute the command that I was um, using before, the yarn test types, then we will see that TypeScript will be happy with our typings because we just have the same React typings now for both, for React and React DOM. I hope this helps and gives you some explanation to why it happened and how to resolve that problem. To further understand typings, I want to show you where you can actually find the types here for React DOM and also all other types. So where do they get installed? Well, you can find them here in the node models directory. And then there is the namespace at types. Yeah, all namespaces start with an at. So whenever you see an at, that's a namespace or an organization. And here in at types, you will see then React and React DOM. And React um, DOM here shows you in the package JSON that it has dependencies on types React. So it wants you to provide these types. And very nice from VS Code, you also get to see here where the typings live. So if you click that link, you will go to the repository, the definitely typed repository, DT, where you can then find the code and the exact typings. You, of course, also see the typings when they get downloaded. So here you see uh, how things are typed in the index DTS file. Yeah, they are all the definitions and declarations for React DOM. You will also see that the package JSON here has a types property because when you export typings from a typing module, then usually this module has defined an entry point where the, the typings, the declaration file can be found. So here you see types references the index DTS file. So that is the one that I was showing here. So this is from where all the typings will be exported. Whatever is exported from here will then be available through the at types react DOM package, which defines the typings for react DOM. How to know if you need to install external typings for a package? Well, there is the website from npm, npmjs.com, and here you can search for a package. So if your dependency is React, then you can look up React. And if you search for it, you will find that um, it needs external declaration files because it has this DT icon here. DT stands for definitely typed. That's the repository where these declarations uh, live in. 
And this logo here tells you that this package needs declarations. So it also tells you that you can get it from at types react. Let me check if I can get it bigger when I zoom in here. Ah, no, the tooltip still stays very small. But yeah, this logo tells you you need external typings. And um, just uh, to take a look at those. So if I click here at types react, then I will see the at types react package. I will also see that um, the package here is published like from this uh, code that you find in a definitely typed repository. So I have that here in a second tab. This is where all the types live in. Yes, yeah, so here the types directory will resolve to add types. Then there is a React here inside and you can look those things up or also make contributions to it. How does it actually look like when a package has typings that come um, by nature with the package? So they are already like things that are written in TypeScript. And those things, of course, provide declarations. Yeah, we can see that with the TS logo, actually the typing CF of React have um, the TS logo because this is already like TypeScript code. Yeah, it's DTS file, so it's um, a declaration TypeScript file, so that gets the TypeScript logo. But um, other things, for example, I have a package that is called trading signals. And this one, when we have a look at it, will also have the TS logo because here, you don't need to install external typings. It has built-in TypeScript declarations. So when you have this, then you don't need to look for add types or you don't need to declare the types yourself. Of course, there is a third uh, category which doesn't have declarations at all. So for example, jQuery and then I saw face detection here. If we look this up, then we see that it was published five years ago, so it's quite old, and no one yet created external typings for it, so that's why it doesn't have a DT logo, and it also does not have um, a TypeScript logo because it's not written in TypeScript, it's plain JavaScript and has no typings at all. So if you want to use this with typings in your TypeScript project, then you would have to declare the typings yourself.